Hi and welcome to this Get Started video for using scroll versions in Atlassian Confluence. I'm David from K15T Software and I will give you a quick overview of what scroll versions can do for your documentation team. Scroll versions is an app that allows you to use Confluence as a technical documentation platform. It enables you to simultaneously manage multiple versions of your documentation in one Confluence space. Once ready to be released, you can publish your docs to a space of your choice and make it available to anyone. Enough bullet points for now though, let's see it in action. Let's say this is your documentation space you've been working on and you installed scroll versions just before releasing the first version of your product documentation. The page tree on the left shows the articles that you have already created for the first release. First of all, let's activate scroll versions. In the Space Tools menu, choose Scroll Add-ons and navigate to the version section. Click the New Version button. In the dialog, enter a name for your version, for example 1.0, and optionally add a description, a color and the release date. As simple as that, you have created the first version of your documentation. Now, let's head back into the documentation space and see what has changed. As you can see, the space now has an additional toolbar with a version picker displaying the current space version. Also, there's this byline below the title giving you some information about the version status of the current page. On the right hand side, you will find the scroll versions drop down, which has some page level features, as well as the scroll versions menu, which offers space level functionality like publishing, which we will have a look at first. Assuming your 1.0 documentation is ready to be released, go to the scroll versions menu in the top right and click publish version. Your documentation can be published to the same space, a new space or an existing space. Let's publish it to a new space. You can name the publication space and give it a space key. On the next screen there are a couple of publishing options and the preview button. For now we'll publish right away though. After publishing has completed, you can find a newly created space in the space directory. A published space only reflects one specific version of your documentation space, in this case 1.0. Now that your 1.0 documentation is released, it's time to create a new version and start working on it. We will name it 2.0 and start working on the next version of the docs. After some time has passed and your documentation has adapted to your changing product, you can see that version 2 differs from version 1 quite a bit. Pages for a brand new feature and an FAQ have been added and the overview has been adjusted to reflect that. The installation guide no longer lives on a separate page and is grayed out in a tree, but still shows up if we switch back to version 1. In short, the 1.0 version of your space is still the same as you left it, while the 2.0 space version reflects all the changes that have happened to your product in version 2.0. Now it is time to publish the 2.0 version. This time around we will publish into the same space as before, which means we publish to an existing space. Let's have a look at the publication space. As you can see, it was updated entirely and now shows the second version of your documentation, which can be made accessible to your audience. This concludes our short overview of scroll versions. Note that we have barely scratched the surface of what scroll versions is capable of. There are a lot more features to show, like variants, workflows, content reuse, freezing versions, conditional content and more. I hope you found this video helpful. For more information, visit our help center at help.k15t.com. If you would like to try scroll versions for free, you can do so through the Atlassian Marketplace. Thanks for watching and take care.